I was in um, a church school committee meeting. Must have been 2008. I was not. <laughs> he was not no. in that meeting. <laughs> and they were looking for people to take on certain events throughout the year, and Christmas pageant was on the page. And I heard a voice in my head say, "That's yours. You should do that." And I was fighting the God's voice. <laughs> it was not my voice. No, I was like on an airplane. Yes, but um, but God won. I felt like He really wanted me to do it, and I didn't. I don't have a lot of theater background. Dan does. And so when I said yes, I knew I would need help, and he graciously agreed. Yeah, I think we've been called into children's ministry in general. And it's nice to work in a place where you love the kids and where you feel like you're able to help and do something. Yeah, now when God asks you to do something, I do it. <laughs> We take the group of kids in and we do that first rehearsal we all sit in a big circle and we read through the story you get them there and they read the whole thing and then you talk about it and you have a chance to really talk about like what's what's really going on here this is think about it put yourself in Mary's shoes put yourself in Joseph's shoes you know put yourself in the shoes of the um, uh, these really low-end employees of the um, sheep herding firm that had outsourced the work to you know the hills outside of Bethlehem put yourself in their shoes what does that feel like and um, so you know getting the opportunity to try and push push kids to really think in those terms is great for us because the best way to understand something is to have to teach it so and I think because each kid is different we've had many uh, girls perform Mary and you know many boys have been shepherds or wise men and so you see their, their interpretation, like Dan's saying, they really internalize and interpret it. So every year you see something different because they're bringing their personalities into it. And I think that's um, a beautiful thing. Yeah, because they're at that age, the next time we see them a year later, they're like about a foot taller normally than the last time we saw them. But you can see them growing um, as kids, and it's fun to think that they're growing in faith too because of the found some of the foundation anyway that they laid in the show. Okay.